Hey guys, Micah here with ebikeschool.com. And today I am riding a 1969 Honda Sports Cub CA110. And I know what you're thinking. Micah, you're supposed to be an e-bike guy. Why are you riding a motorcycle? Excellent question. I'm riding this bike because soon it's not gonna be a gas motorcycle anymore. I'm gonna convert it into an electric bike. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me for the ride. Now, if you're worried about me destroying a perfectly good motorcycle, please do not worry. First of all, uh, Honda made over 100 million variations of the Cub uh, motorcycle and moped, so this is not a rare bike by any means. And second of all, all the gas pieces I take off, like the engine, the muffler, the throttle, uh, anything I'm not going to use, I'll just put on eBay. And so other guys who are going to be restoring these motorcycles can use those parts. And this bike will not only turn into an awesome electric motorcycle, but will go on to help other people restore their motorcycles as well. So everybody wins. All right, now my goal with this is to shoot a series of videos over the next month or two while I'm working on this to update you guys with my progress along the way. And I've got a number of things that I need to plan out because for now I'm just in the planning stage. First of all, I have to decide what I'm going to do for a motor. Now this thing originally had about a four or four and a half horsepower motor. This is just a 50cc motor. And so I think I'm gonna go with something similar in an electric motor, probably in the three to five kilowatt range. Uh, maybe I'll go with a three kilowatt continuous motor. That way I can bump it up to five kilowatt peak. And that'll be good for, you know, hill climbing or acceleration at uh, green lights. But I don't need too much power in this thing. And I think I'm gonna aim for a similar speed. You know, maybe I'll have the top speed in the high 40s, a little bit faster than it was originally, but I doubt I'll ever get up to that that often because again, this is very much gonna be a city bike. I'm gonna be using this to toot around Cambridge and Boston, and I don't need to be going 50 miles an hour on this thing. Uh, the next thing is to decide, do I wanna do a mid-drive and put the motor sort of where the engine is right now, or do I wanna go with a hub motor? Now, a mid-drive would be nice because it would keep some of the aesthetics of the bike, and it would give better handling because you wouldn't have all that unsprung weight of a big hub motor. The downside is it's just more complicated. You got to figure out how to mount it in there. And a hub motor is just a lot easier. The other thing is if I go with a hub motor, I'll have a lot more space up here for batteries. Because as you can see, this is not a big bike. There's not a ton of room here. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with the hub motor for the simplicity and to give me more room up here to be able to stick a bunch of batteries in there. And that brings me to the next decision I'm going to have to make. How much battery? Now, I think I'm gonna go with a 72 volt system, especially if I wanna get into the 40 mile an hour or so range. You just need higher voltage to get up there without drawing too much current. Uh, so if I'm going 72 volts, next question is, how much uh, capacity, you know, how many amp hours am I gonna need? So I'm thinking I'll probably go uh, a minimum of 30 amp hours. That'll give me about 2.1 or 2.2 kilowatt hours of battery. And cruising around at maybe 30 mile an hour average, I think that should be enough for about 40 miles of range. And you know, for a city bike, that's probably pretty good. Probably the maximum I'll go is about 45 amp hours, which on a 72 volt battery would be uh, what is that, like three kilowatt hours, something like that. So I could probably bump up my range to about 60 miles, but at a certain point, if you're just going around the city, how much range do you need? So I'll probably fall somewhere in there. Also, if the battery is too big, it's just gonna get pretty expensive. I will probably build a battery myself to save money, and I can, you know, make it a certain shape if I want it to fit into these weird nooks and crannies. But, you know, if I go too big, it's just gonna get real expensive. So I think somewhere in the two to three kilowatt hour range is probably perfect. Next question is, how do you mount it, right? So there's two bolts that hold the engine on right now, and that's a good place to start, but I might have to get into some weird like welding things, maybe put a bracket in the top here. I'm not sure what I'll do there. Um, might have to cross that bridge when I get there. I haven't welded in years, and I live in an apartment, so I might have to find a shop around here to help me with that. Uh, the other thing is, I think I'm gonna leave the tank. I don't need the tank, obviously, but it's kind of a big part of the aesthetics of the bike, and I can probably hide some wiring in here or maybe put the controller or stick a charger in here. I can do something with it. So I think I'm gonna leave the tank on here. Um, there's a few other problems I have to figure out. Uh, one of them are brakes. You know, the, the front drum brakes are decent. They're not amazing. The rear drum brakes are actually pretty good, but if I'm gonna be chucking this rear wheel, then I lose those drum brakes. So what I'll probably do is put a disc brake on the rear. Then I have to decide, do I wanna stick with this uh, foot brake here and then just connect it into like a hydraulic brake? Or do I wanna run a brake line up and put a brake lever on the handlebars in place of the clutch, which obviously I'll be getting rid of, uh, and have it more like a scooter with the uh, rear brake on the left side up here. So another thing I'm gonna to have to figure out, but 
uh, that's a bridge I can cross when I get there. First thing I'm going to start with is probably the motor and then move on to the battery. Uh, there's a few other small things. The swing arm isn't the proper size for a lot of different hub motors out there. Also, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get a torque arm on here, so I might have to do some slight modifications to the swing arm. Um, there will be some wiring issues, uh, some displays. Right now, the only uh, meter on this thing is the speedometer up front here. Um, so I'll have to figure out how I want to do a battery display or if I even want one or if I just want to keep the whole thing looking nice and stock without a bunch of digital displays up here. Uh, other than that, there's just going to be some other weird little problems I have to solve. Um, you know, the wiring is like archaic that runs through this thing. I think it's on a six volt system. Uh, the foot pegs are actually mounted to the engine block, so when I lose the engine, I'll lose the foot pegs. And I'll have to figure out something to do there and a way to put new foot pegs in. It'll probably be combined with the um, battery mounting because it's all going to be in this similar area. But again, I'll, I'll solve these problems as I go along. So if you guys have any tips, please let me know uh, what you think I should do or if you have suggestions. I'm definitely interested in seeing them in the comments. And speaking of the comments, last but not least, it's time to announce the randomly chosen commenter that will win a book from my last video. And the winner is... John Redfern. So congratulations and thanks for commenting. Let me know which one of my books you'd like. Either the Ultimate Do-It-Yourself e-bike guide, which can teach you how to build your own electric bicycle, might not cover motorcycles, but a lot of the parts are the same. Or uh, DIY Lithium Batteries, which will show you how to build your own battery, something I'm going to do in this project. Or DIY Solar Power. And uh, if anyone else wants to win one of my books, all you have to do is put a comment below this video, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. And if you don't want to wait till then, you can always find my books on Amazon. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep checking back in the future over the next few weeks, or maybe a couple months, depending on how long this takes, and I will have update videos showing everything I've been doing on this bike. See you next time, guys. Today I am riding this 1969, uh, what is this, a Honda Sports Cub. And today I am riding a 1969. Whoop, supposed to be a uh, electric bike guy. Why are you riding a motorcycle? Well, first of all, I'm not very good at it, so I almost stalled it there. This is why I'm making this electric.